Hey guys, there's this interesting property of logarithms where you can take this exponent and bring it to the front. It's something I think most people tend to memorize, but it feels kind of weird, doesn't it? I wanted to see if we can figure out why we can do it. This is a really nice animation here, but typically in books, it looks more like this. On one side of the equation, the a is in front. On the other side of the equation, the a is the exponent. So we're gonna find this equation. First, let's talk about log form versus exponential form. Both of these equations mean the exact same thing. b to the y equals x is the same thing as y equals log base b of x. And this will always be true. The base of the exponent will always be the base of the logarithm. And the exponent will always be the thing that the logarithm is equal to. And the thing that the exponent is equal to will always be the argument of the logarithm. And here's some color-coded circles to help us remember. Let's copy down both of these equivalent equations. And I want to play around with them a little bit. First, let's do this one, b to the y equals x. Let's exponentiate both sides of the equation to the power of a. On the left-hand side, these exponents will multiply, so we have b to the power of y times a. And we can change the order to get b to the a times y. And then on the right-hand side, this will be x to the a. And now we're back in exponent form. Let's identify these three parts again. And let's rewrite this in logarithmic form. This green circle will be a y. The base of the logarithm will be b, and the argument of the logarithm will be x to the a. And this looks important, let's put a box around it. And then let's go down to our y equals log base b of x. I'm thinking we should multiply both sides of this by a. On the left hand side we'll have a times y, and on the right hand side we'll have a times log base b of x. This also looks important, let's put a box around it. Now let's compare our two boxes. Since this and this are both equal to ay, we can set them equal to each other. So now we have a times log base b of x is equal to log base b of x to the a. And that's what we were trying to find. And here's all the work right here. How exciting.